good morning everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new please subscribe and if you're not welcome back so today i'm just doing like a day in the life um a lot of updates and big changes happen good morning harley yes okay and so first we're gonna go to the gym and then i'm gonna sit down and explain everything that's going on um and kind of just take you through today today's sunday october 10th and we're heading to the gym so i started off my morning with kind of doing a morning routine i'm trying to get back into this habit with how crazy life has been with not going on my phone for at least 30 minutes but like once my day started so like give myself 30 minutes to like make my tea to like journal to do gratitude everything like that is what i'm trying to do so we're starting that today again so if you want to join me with that keep us accountable we'll keep each other accountable because if i don't say that i'm doing that in my next video call me out so i'm gonna start by showing you my outfit for the gym today we apologize for a little bit of a dirty mirror anyways today is on active um of course and so i'm wearing the seamless black and the seamless what color is this oh my god guys i can't remember this color but it's the green what kind of green is it it's not the classic pistachio that's like the light green this is something else i can't remember the name so i will insert it and so that's what we're doing today um actually seamless black is like i'm not gonna lie like this is one of my favorite like leggings because it's just so stretchy and so this is a medium and this top is a small. I started getting the pants in medium because I realized small was not fitting these hips anymore. So we're changing it all to medium. And this is a small. I could still wear a small or a medium in the sports bra. I have both. Um, today is full body, baby. And I have not been consistent with my gym routine. Um, before I was going to group class, train with LB. And now we do not live in that state anymore, which again, I'll update y'all. Um, and so I am back to training with my Tona Sculpt app. And I'll go into more details about that. Um, and trying to stay on my own routine again. So I'm literally just, I need to spray myself. I can't go to the gym. Don't fall, camera without spraying myself. Sun is out today. It's gonna be a good day. It was supposed to be out. I've been watching the weather, so it has been. Do you wanna say it together, like where we moved to, what state? We could just start off like that. Oh, North Carolina. Yes, we moved to North Carolina, and again, like I said, I will be doing like a life update vlog. Damn, there's a lot of water. Um, you see my tea? I just wanna drink a little bit more of that. Stop that clean juice. This is in Winston if, oh, no, not me flipping the camera. Hold on. So we finally are trying a smoothie place. This lighting is dark. Okay. A new smoothie place is called Clean Juice. It's in Winston where we currently live now. And so, um, and so I got a recovery protein smoothie. I thought I asked for a bigger size. Tyron got a pumpkin one all fall. I really don't like fall flavors, but I love fall. <laughs> And so our workout was good. How's your smoothie? It's pretty good. It's really good? Okay. Pick is good. Um, I definitely want to try a juice next time because that's what I really wanted. But then I was like, let me just get a protein shake because I don't tend to drink a lot of protein. Um, I personally don't care for the taste of protein. And you don't need it on your journey. If you want to eat foods that have protein in it, you don't need to add additional protein unless that's what you want to do. And I personally don't care for it, so I'm not going to force myself to do something just because everyone else does it. So. That's what I want to do. Uh, he, oh, but you yeah. like the taste of protein. Yeah. Want a bagel. So we're back home. Um, I'm still trying out this smoothie. It's almost done, honestly. What I'm going to do right now is show you a mini tour of our home, our new home here in North Carolina. And so I'm going to do that first. And then I'm basically, while 
I'm showing you guys that. I'm gonna try to talk to you guys. So first, before I start showing you the home, we moved because we felt like it'd be a new chapter. Tyron had more, you know, and if you don't know who Tyron is, that's my fiance. He had more opportunities here as a massage therapist. And so, you know, we just started putting things in place and it was time for a new chapter, a new fresh start with him growing his business and everything like that. And so we always thought, talked about moving to North Carolina. We always talked about moving to another state. So, um, like I had stated in my previous, our, my previous video, my last video about our Sunday reset, we're really trying to work on our finances to create a life for our generation and a, a name for ourselves and for our future children. And moving was just one part of that. Opportunity got us so good and we are just gonna make it here in North Carolina, baby. Home tour. <laughs> so this is the backyard. I'm not gonna go out there because Harley will follow me. And so that's our whole backyard. And this is our deck back here. We love this area. I love it in the morning. I wish there was furniture out there, but I'm still trying to debate what we want out there. I kind of want rustic vibes out there. So, and like woody vibes. So um, that's our deck. And then this is like the back door. And so if you come here, this is our kitchen. And so one thing we loved is like, again, the countertops are like this beautiful, like, like what is this called? Granite, it's like glittery. And then they kept the natural hardwood cabinets. And they were stained and they're really, really nice. I like that color. So this is the vibe. Excuse our dishes and of course our mess. And then over here is like the dining room area. Like that's what it's set up right now. It's like Harley's space. His cage is here. Eventually we could get some type of table here. Still debating what we're gonna do. Um, I'm definitely trying not to rush getting furniture because we're gonna definitely be here for like two to three years because we decided that when we're ready to actually own a home, like just so you guys know, we're still renting. We're renting this home, which yes, it's cheaper than renting in Connecticut for our one bedroom apartment, of course. We'd rather rent until we're ready to build that dream home or we find it, so. And then, so this is our living room. We still have boxes. This is the couch that we just bought. We sold all of our furniture in Connecticut because it was way too expensive to rent a U-Haul. So we just sold our furniture, got a good percentage of it back and used it for this home. So this is not the right TV. We're gonna mount the TV on the wall actually. Not him playing. And so this is like the huge living room and then I love this like farmhouse type. I really am going with farm modern farmhouse vibes. So if you ever wanna know what that means, Google it because that's what I'm gonna go for once we put it together. And, and then so we have here, this is an entryway where it comes in, that's the front door. And so this is one of the tables I actually have set up. This was supposed to be my desk for upstairs in my office, but it was way too small. So it's now going to be an entryway table, which is actually really cute. It kind of matches the vibes of this like wood Harley. As of right now, I have things drying in here when I wash them, cause we need to get like a standing Y'all know what I'm trying to say. And this door, I'm so sorry if y'all could hear Harley in the background. This door is our actual laundry room. And so love this because it's an actual room instead of a closet. This is our bedroom, excuse the mess. We're still trying to get our lives together. There's not much in our house. Like we're still furnishing. Um, so this is our bed. Um, and then this is just like another door that leads out to our other side of our backyard it's like huge and then this is focus this is our walk-in closet and so it is absolutely a mess of course still trying to organize this I think we're still gonna actually get like a, a dresser because we sold that too we sold everything so we're gonna definitely get a dresser so we could have more storage and stuff and then I'm gonna get types of bins that I want to fit this theme so this is obviously my side and then this is all of Tyron's side um, and then we have something going on back there. Bathroom, he's in there, so I'm not gonna show that right now. <laughs> we go back this way, that's the front door, like I said, and then we have the upstairs. So this room to the right, right, that's right, <laughs> is the biggest like guest room we have. And basically this is Tyron's massage room. He's mobile right now, and the clients he gets are mobile clients that prefer for him to come to them. So he has his massage table in the car right now, because that's what he was just doing yesterday. And so this is his massage room and 
And we have our linen closet right here. We didn't put anything in it. This room to the left is my office. There's not much in here. There's of course boxes. Um, and I have to do a whole setup in here. But this is my desk for right now, you know, work, school, everything else. And um, that's basically what's in here right now. And then each room has a closet, of course. Like side tables, like kind of like, um, what are those, those long white drawers called? You know what I'm trying to say? This is the guest bathroom upstairs. And that's just what we're going with. Yeah, Harley, come on. Let's go, we're going downstairs. Oh, that's, yeah, basically a quick tour of our home. And we're loving it. It's really nice and quiet over here. We live on a dead end, which is nice. There's a lot of dead ends over here. <laughs> There's a lot of circular little circles and then dead ends. And so we're really, really enjoying it. And going to slowly but surely furnish it. And, yeah, that's basically what we're doing right now. So that's our big update. We moved. And... Let's continue this day because there's a lot that needs to happen today. Um, Tyron's gonna mow the grass for the first time. In the backyard, <laughs> there's too much land and we have to mow. Well, Tyron has to mow. Really want breakfast bagels, so we're gonna go take a shot. Finished the break feast. And tell me they don't look good. Ooh. We're back. Taryn's like mowing the yard, but we have a little hand mower right now that um, his family had lent to us and we have really a big yard. So he's charging the batteries because it's an electric mower. He's charging the batteries and then he's gonna go back out there. And then we're gonna go over later and I think we're gonna grill. We're gonna grill, babe. She has a grill, yeah. Oh. Love me some grill food. Wait, where is it? Uh, I'm gonna do outdoor work. I'm gonna do indoor work. Yeah, it's pretty fun, except for when it ran out. You look good on that mower out there. It's like I'm constantly cleaning. So, new vacuum because Harley is shedding. He is no longer a puppy. Well, he's still a puppy, but he is like shedding like a dog. Before, when he was a little, little bitty thing, he didn't shed this way, so I'm just gonna do some like, chores. That's what they're called, honey, chores. But I love having a clean house and a clean space. We're actually heading to Tyron's cousin's house. She's like the family member that lives closest to us. And we're gonna grill. I'm excited. Told y'all. It's usually a chill vibe. We'll make margaritas. Meet up. Okay, bye. 